Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the automation framework. What is the features of the automation framework, which make a automation framework as a good, right? Uh, so there are some points we need to consider while uh, going to design the automation framework. Okay. So like example here, uh, easiness of use when we are going to design the framework then one of the points we need to consider our framework should be easy in use scalability we need to check reusability we need to consider also maintainability we can focus compatibility or automation should be compatible traceability minimum manual intervention right all these factors we need to consider while going to design any automation framework let's see what is the easiness and scalability all these points what in more detail so easiness so basically good automation framework right should be easy to use that it means if any user start working with the automation working on the test script design then it should take minimum learning curve framework should not be complex to use right so our framework which what which we are going to design it should not complex so that any team member can easily use and start working on the test scripting framework should be user friendly in the creation of a script right what framework we, we are going to design and we are going to plan our framework should be user friendly so that it will be very easy in creation of the scripts, compilation, right? And running as well as the debugging the execution results, reports, right? Next point is the scalability. Scalability is very important when we are working on a automation framework, which is for a enterprise level application, right? So in that case, we need to think about the scalability. So first of all, when we are going to start on any project, then we need to plan. We need to check if we are going to use the desktop-based application, web-based application, API, database, which type of testings, which type of application we have. So based on those, we will uh, uh, design a framework so that it will be cap capable uh, to handle all these type of application. So we need to also consider our automation test cases is a complex or easy. So based on those, we need to plan our framework. Like if we have data, right? Uh, multiple data, we have different set of data. Then in that case, we can design, we can use the data driven approach. Similar type, if we have multiple test cases, like we have more than thousand test cases, in that case, we can plan some parallel execution so that our framework should be capable to run the test in parallel. And also it should support multiple environments, multiple browsers, right? So based on the requirement, we need to think uh, the scalability, okay? So automation should be, automation framework should be scalable below are some features. Like it supports multiple OS, supports multiple browsers of the web application, support api mobile parallel execution parallel execution we are using so that we can reduce the execution time we can also because if we are going to run on different environments right like browsers as well as the os combination in that case our framework should be capable to integrate with the cloud environments like sauce lab browser stack lambda test where we can go and execute our automation test script so it should also give you some flexibility where you can integrate very easily with the test management tools like uh, like a Jira, Jafire, Riley, uh, TestRail. So it can be easily integrated so that you can publish your result after the execution. Accessibility testing, performance testing, security testing, if needed to extend your framework in accessibility testing so you can easily integrate some tools write library with your framework so that you can perform all these type of testings. So next is the reusability. Reusability 
is one of the most important factors of the successful automation framework, right? Where reusability makes testing quicker and lower maintenance cost, right? If we have uh, some reusable component, we are not creating a duplicacy of the code, not creating a duplicate code, right? So in that case, our framework is very easy in maintenance also. It will be very helpful. And if any, if we have reusable components, if we are going to create a new test, sometimes we don't need to add any additional step. We can just recall all the functions which is already created in the framework to complete our test script, right? So this will be very, very helpful. Mostly we will get in maintenance cost, it will lower. It simplifies the process for both developers and end user, extending the code or framework, or reconfiguring aspects, and setting up other test cases are become much easier to accomplish, right? Reuse of existing code by writing code once and invoking it elsewhere, right? So what we can do, we can just create a library, some functions, separate pages, separate files, which we can reuse where needed. So one time we can write the function and we can use in our test script. So we will discuss in more details when I will start designing the automation framework. There you will see how we are maintaining the reusability concept. We can also create a library tool independent by implementing functions as a separate library, right? So in that case, if the tools provide some function that is deprecated. So in that case, we need to go in our library where we have created, we need to update in that place only. Maintainability. So when we are designing automation framework, then we need to also think about the maintainability, right? Because this play very important role in the cost effective. So if once we created the design, the test script or created the framework, Right. And we have automated some test cases day by day when the application has some enhancement or some changes, then accordingly, we need to update, we need to maintain our automation test script, right? So we need to consider the maintainability is very easy uh, in our framework so that it will be cost effective. So here we are designing the POM based automation framework. This is very standard. Most of the companies are using this page object model concept, right? Which will be very helpful in maintainability. So we can also create reuse functions, create some uh, separate framework library, tool specific library we can create. All these will be very helpful to maintain our automation uh, test script. Next is the compatibility. So good a good framework optimized for testing across various device platform, right? So our framework should be compatible to run on different platforms, like different OS, as well as the different browsers. It should be compatible if we are doing mobile automation, it should be compatible with the Android and iOS and what we needed, right? So our, this, our framework, good framework has, it should be compatible on other platforms. The framework should generally support host of major application platforms and operating systems. Traceability. At the end, we need to also consider what is the traceability. Traceability means once we execute our automation tests, right? So it generates the reports. So reports should be robust and transparent in the reporting, right? So that anybody can look the report and analyze the result, right? Why the test is failing. So our reports should display the information such as how many test cases were executed, how many failed, and how many passed. So if we have such type of information, with the screenshot as well as the detail in the steps, how many steps executed of particular tests, right? If we have designed such a way, so it will be very easy to help to debug the test failure, right? So detailed reports should be accessible wide range of people. So our report should be accessible with wide range of people. So in that case, what we can do, we can integrate our automation test execution result with the test management system or we can publish the result in the Slack group, team group, we can, or also we can send into the email. Reports are useful for the QA engineers as well as the managers to quickly find out, to quickly find out what's going on, right? 
why the test is getting failed or how many tests passed. Okay. So this will be very, very helpful to the developers as well as to QA engineers as well as the managers. Next is the minimal manual intervention. So the main purpose of automation to reduce the manual effort in the term of execution of the test cases, right? Our automation suit also can run by anyone without understanding the code, right? So we can design a framework such a way so that anybody who is not technical, right, don't know the coding, he can easily run and execute our automation code. In general, run automation test with unattended mod, right? So here the CI involved where we can go and configure our automation test which will automatically run in unattended mode. So in that case, it should support continuous integration tools. Next, I am going to set up and design the automation framework by using the Selenium and Java. And then in the couple of videos, couple of tutorials, I will complete this process. Okay. So if you like the tutorial, click on the like button, subscribe the channel, and also click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification and also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefits and if you have any query leave a comment i will reply thanks for watching the video let's meet in the next tutorial